All right, so I forgot to make an intro when I got to this call, but I'm doing it now. So this call is just a rental. Uh, it was a rental property, like short-term vacation rental, and the guest said there's a high-pitched noise and the AC's not working. So I get there. There was a whistle. I think it was just airflow because it fixed itself. Because I'll just let you guys watch the video. This unit is blowing cold. So now I gotta figure out how to pull this away so we can access it. I like to take pictures of everything. gauges it's running but definitely low in the refrigerant probably empty we're gonna check it out because that compressor is running and the suction the liquid line is not even hot and the suction line is not really cold like freezing cold either We just check a dough refrigerant. We got water all in, moisture all in here from the rain yesterday. Sometimes I just hate the rain because it just destroys tools. try to find the leak. I cannot look up the warranty on that unit. I don't know the homeowner's last name. Um, it has a, the website says a five year limited warranty and then uh, up to a 20 year which I'm pretty sure Concord ain't got no 20 year warranty. So we're going to go see if we can find this leak. My money is on the indoor coil. But the outdoor coil looks pretty rough. So let's see what we can find. I'm starting outside. I don't see much oil or anything. But there's a lot of beach sand. And we're right on this breezeway. I don't think 
this one. I like, do like the all aluminum coil. I don't think it's leaking out here. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back inside. Let's see. See how much PSI we got, because it might get 63 PSI resting. Maybe we'll get lucky, so I'll have to add any to find it. Since there's nothing but like gas left in that system, I'm gonna use nitrogen to bump up the pressure. Let's see if we can get lucky. Our right, pressure's that way instead of adding refrigerant. So let's see what we can do. I'm adding. And it's barely going up. Trying to listen for a leak, see if I can hear it. All right, I found it. So I found the leak. Um, I'm gonna let this boot up and we'll be right back. So after sitting here waiting and watching it drop, I looked back in here and I noticed a wet spot like right there. And then... There's where she is. Unit's not under warranty, so yeah, building them my estimate. Gotta take measurements. Only because of this weird thing here. Alright, so we're done with that one uh, scenario because I, I called the things out of warranty, which sucks. So they got two options, which I thought they were only gonna have one, but they actually have a straight cool condenser in stock. It's probably what they're gonna go with. So we gave them to replace just the condenser. They're about to sell this condo, guests are in it. So priority number one is to get them cooling, whatever is available the soonest. And then, or complete system, which is gonna need line set and everything. Uh, but both can be done tomorrow. So we gave them those options, just waiting for them to reply. And it's out of my hands now. Install team and sales team's gonna take care, take it from here. But I do, I do got to give a shout out to Air Engineers, our local train distributor over here in Fort Walton Beach. They uh, they did a great job. They always respond quickly because um, sometimes we have an urgency. And but they did a great job today getting us pricing and being quick about it. But they always put up with our shenan shenanigans also. But I just wanted a quick shout out for those guys. They're awesome. We do mainly trains. Um, on install or untrues and whatever we need to. But when we do a lot of rental companies like this and it's a state of urgency most of the time, most of the time we're putting in condensers and not replacing coils because that's what gets done faster unless they have a coil that's in stock and available. But being a Concord, they didn't have it in stock, um, out of warranty, and it was about the same price as a whole new condenser. So 
So they're probably gonna go that route and then, but we're good to go. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.